All right, so today let's talk about when carriers cancel your loads. On the day of, they give you a call and say, hey, Brandon, we're gonna have to cancel that load. Sorry about that. Sometimes those things happen. But then there are other times when carriers cancel your loads because your rate was too low. They found a better load than you had. Now on the flip side of the coin, what we understand as freight brokers is that cancellations are a part of the game. This is how it works. And when these cancellations occur, we have to take the necessary steps to get the load recovered. So here's the first thing that I think you should do when a cancellation occurs. Number one, go ahead and try to talk to the carrier that you're working with. Try to find out if it's a detention issue, for example. Find out how long does he think that he'll be in detention? Have they given him some idea? Is he just gonna be a few hours late? Is it possible that we can get recovered for the following day? Find out where he is on that. If you get any pushback, if you feel like he's just not interested in covering the load, now it's time to move to the second step. The second step is to contact your shipper. Let them know what's going on. Make them aware that your load was canceled. You had it covered, but the driver canceled the load, and now you are trying to recover the load. This way, it will give them an option to say, you know what, we want to pull in another freight broker. We want to pull in other carriers on this because this is a high priority load and we cannot afford to miss the go time on this particular load. That way, you're covering the bases when you give that shipper the heads up. They may come out and say, you know what, just go ahead and get it covered. Even if you have to wait an additional day, it's not a problem. And the third step, when you repost that load to your load board, make sure you post it with a price. A carrier is much more likely to call you back on a load that's posted with a price than they would if a price was not posted with the load. When they see a price, they know that you are more serious. Also, when the carrier calls you or you call the carrier, don't start talking that desperate talk, giving them too much information about what has happened already with the load. Oh, the load was canceled. The shipper really needs to get it covered because your prices go up. Don't talk yourself into a higher price. Now, last but not least, step number four. Once you go ahead and get that load recovered, go ahead and give your shipper a call and let them know you're good to go. The load has been recovered. That way they can go ahead and call the dogs off because the hunt is over. Just understand that cancellations happen in this game, but you need to be able to recognize why your loads are being canceled. So until the next time, I wish you the very best in your life and business. See you at the top because the bottom is much too crowded.